Today I want to talk about the hidden features of search bar in Dynamic 365 Business Central. Yes, we used to use Nav and now you're using Business Central. In Nav we have the search bar. In Business Central also we have a search bar which we call as Tell Me. Yes, it has been positioned as Tell Me by Microsoft. My name is Gulchan Shibam and let's get started. As you can see in this screen, the first screenshot is from Nav where we have a simple search bar. The second screenshot is from Business Central where again we have a search bar. It looks similar but there's a vast difference. Previously in Nav, we used to just search and we used to find pages and reports. Now, in Business Central, it is not limited to this. And this is the reason Microsoft has rebranded the search bar as Tell Me. You can see this is the screenshot which I have taken from learn.microsoft.com, which indicates that search box has also been named as Tell Me. And we will come to know why it is being called as Tell Me, or let's say what are the additional features which is not as simple as just searching any document and report or the hidden features of Business Central search bar. So let's get started. When I look for item, it gives me all the words in which I have the item word. Also, it gives us a report, but this is obvious. This we used to have in NAV as well. Now you can see we have the search results from Microsoft App Source as well. And if any documentation is available, then that also you will find here. You can directly go here. It will take you to learn.microsoft.com. Also, we have the links, the apps from the App Source which has the word item in it. So this is the first thing that the search has been extended to documentations online and Microsoft App Source as well, other than pages, tasks, and reports. Now, the second feature is, and this is one of my favorites, which is called finding alternate words or synonyms. For example, if you type item, you will see item. If you type assembly, you will see assembly. This is obvious. But in industry, I have seen most of the people using kit, the word kit or kitting instead of assembly. So what if I type kit. If I type kit, still I get assembly orders and assembly setup. So how the system is recognizing it? Because now we have a property in which we can define the alternate words or the synonyms. And this is very useful. It gives a sense of personalization and customization to the client. Now let's just go and look behind the curtains, how it is happening and how easy it is to do. A property has been added, which is called Additional Search Terms ML. And Business Central is published with 200 search alternate words. For example, if you type product, you'll get item. If you type kit, you'll get assembly bomb. If you get client, if you type client, you'll get customer. Now, how easy it is to, for example, can your client ask you to add any alternate word? And can you do it? If yes, how easy it is to do? As a functional consultant, it is important for us to know. And it is as simple as adding a field to the page. It will take hardly five minutes. Here you can see this is a page. And here I have a property called additional search terms and I can add anything. For example, here a page has been created which is named as testing unique key page list. And the property I have written, I love P365, search me please. Now, if I go and search on the tell me with the word search me, I'm getting this page. Also with the other word, if I'm starting, I'm getting the same page. Because here I have defined two alternate words for this page, which is testing unique key page list. I can have multiple words here, multiple synonyms and other words. So it's very easy to do and this is the best part. Now this brings us to the third feature which I also used sometimes and I still use and I believe it is useful for many consultants especially when we are keeping demos and 
when we are not able to find action quickly. Let's say I am on this document and I want to see what is the receipt or the receipt document against this purchase order. Now you can go and find out that where it is you have to click let's say on this and you will go to other and then you'll go to this. Now currently because let's say I prepare the demo I know about this but let's say you're not very clear where this or action is or you are not prepared for this and somebody asked you and you said okay I have not seen on the list page I know on the document page where it is so in that case what you can do is instead of searching for it going one to one on these you just want to show the client whether a receipt has been posted against this or not from the list page itself then just click on search type receipt and you can see on current page of the purchase order there is an action called receipt. I click on this and you can see the receipt has been opened against the order which was selected on the list page. So this is a very quick way to look or for an action instead of just trying to find it by clicking and drilling down because it will take some time. If you don't know the exact position of the action, you can quickly open that document or use that action through search bar itself. So to summarize, the first part is tell me or the search bar in Business Central is not only limited to searches of list pages and reports. It is searching you and giving you results for online documentations and apps from the app source as well. Second and my best feature is looking for alternate words or searching with alternate words or synonyms. And the last feature which I liked is finding actions on the pages from Tell Me. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.